How is kernel access different on Mac versus Windows and Linux? Somewhere around 2020, Apple just locked down the kernel. They do not allow any drivers from anyone but them, no matter what the situation. Where both, you know, Windows and Linux lets you write your own drivers to add things to the kernel, and it is absolutely impossible on the Mac. Not at all? No. Well, so Apple is aware that there are some situations where it's legitimate. If you have a new USB dongle, you need a driver for it, so they've created something called Driver Kit, where you can write a driver, talk to your new hardware, but it runs in user space. Their kernel module is asking your driver out there in regular space, you know, what should I do about this new device? And if you crash, whatever, the device stops working, the Mac doesn't crash. Speedify, it's a VPN, we need to be able to intercept packets out of the kernel. They've written a driver and given us something called the network extension, where we we can write code and they pass us out packets. We say what to do with them and pass them back. They've absolutely locked it down. So why is Apple allowed to have that restriction and Microsoft isn't? When it comes to the Mac, what do they have? 10% market share? They're not falling under antitrust concerns. So is that why there are no third-party Wi-Fi dongles on the Mac? Yes. Before 2000, you could go to Amazon, buy you know a USB Wi-Fi card, and it would come with drivers for both the Mac and Windows. And now there aren't. They only come with Windows. They don't work on Apple. The only thing you can get is Apple cards for Apple. In fact, it's only the ones that come built into the Mac. I don't see any reason why you couldn't write a Wi-Fi driver in driver kit. But I might just be missing something because no one has. Mm -hmm. Uh, None of these cards come with a driver for Mac at all anymore. You are just stuck with what comes with your Mac. Yeah, I think they ended that around 2019 or 2020 (laughs) because... I made a Speedify tutorial video back then about how to combine two Wi-Fi connections on Mac, and then, like, I updated and I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was brutal. It really hurt us. Yeah. Kept getting comments like, I can't do this. Why isn't it working?